What is up everyone, Jay here with another Fire Emblem Heroes video and today we're going to take a look at this year's Ninja Banner. Um, you know, Ninja Banners are kind of hit and miss with a lot of people, either you love them or you hate them. I'm kind of in the middle. I like ninjas a lot, but none of the characters I've really gone super crazy for. But yeah, the first unit on the banner is Zelgius. He was in the silhouette and we were pretty sure it was him and here he is. Ninja Knight, I love his outfit, definitely really cool, Zelgius is cool and he's a lance armor so um the way he functions in this alt is kind of different uh well first of all it's it's usually different or uh, more more different than most other lance armors but compared to his base version um you know his base version being pretty fast at least at the time now he's pretty min max you can see his stat spray he's got 16 speed and 47 defense and 42 resistance with 58 attack so he's got really high attack um, because his weapon is a brave weapon as expected on these banners so scarlet spear that, that gives him what 47 base attack which might be the highest in the game i'm not even sure he might tie with someone i'd have to check but yeah 47 a base attack is monstrous and he comes with scarlet spear minus one cooldown attacks twice even if unit initiates combat so or foe initiates combat so dual phase brave start of combat if he's alive he grants attack plus x to unit and inflicts attack minus x on the foe so x equaling 25 percent of foe's attack during combat minus two minimum six maximum 16 so he can really shred the foe's attack and buff himself up and he also reduces damage from the foe's attacks by 30 percent so that's just flat it's not even on the first hit it's just straight up 30 percent and then he also has seven hp healing so this weapon is really good it's very simple but it's similar to summer edgard's weapon so he's kind of like a lance version of her because she also has the ability to strike twice and also has um you know kind of the spendthrift effect um, increasing her attack and lowering the foe's attack so scarlet spear is very strong and it's going to fit his playstyle perfectly he comes with lightless luna which is just a better version of black luna so it has the same effect as the black luna had before which is able to treat foes defense and resistance as if reduced by 80 percent and you know black luna even though we have damage reduction and all these things it can still hit really hard so um, lightless luna is going to do that for you but also if units or foe specials trigger during combat or trigger before or during this combat, he reduces damage from foe's next attack by 40%. So along with his weapon giving damage reduction, he also gets this in Lightless Luna. And with Special Spider 4, he's going to be able to trigger that pretty easily or somewhat reliably. Um, so yeah, Lightless Luna is really good. And yeah, it doesn't pierce through damage reduction, which a lot of people really wanted Black Luna 2 to happen at some point, which I would have loved to see. Um, it might still happen, who knows, but yeah, Lightless Luna is just a better version of Black Luna on this seasonal Celgius. And then he comes with a Distant Defense Res Solo, which is, of course, the variant of Distant Attack Speed Solo. So this is good for him, so you can counterattack against everything and just be really tanky because, you know, he can definitely use like a save skill, I suppose. Definitely can, but um, with his base kit, you want to make him solo and it works with Salt Troop. So yeah, he is really like some other guard. And then Special Fighter 4, which you've seen before. So yeah, in terms of Lance Armors, there's only like one other lance armor that i can think of that can really kind of do this thing which is uh winter Ephraim, who also has a dual phase brave weapon if i remember correctly um but his is a little worse obviously and his requires an attack check which can be kind of tough but yeah like i don't really see winter Ephraim that much but i guess for like max invested ones it can be really strong but zelgius is kind of like a modern version of winter Ephraim, i guess with uh with what winter Ephraim gun is refined so yeah that is ninja Zelgius. really cool uh definitely didn't expect him to get a ninja alt you know you think of like i guess non-armor characters getting ninja alts but here he is and uh that's Zelgius. so the next unit on the banner is heather definitely didn't expect her either wandering ninja heather is uh she's cool she's like the first one of the first i well actually i think she is the first one of the first characters that's pretty much openly gay or at least uh heavily implied to be so here she is uh as a green dagger infantry and she introduces a really cool skill or counter to other skills um so here she is rallying lucia and she provides the schism effect which we'll see but she has a speed defense ruse four so schism is a really cool effect and as you can see it neutralizes triangle attack dual strike and pathfinder effects um, through their next action. So this is really cool because we just had ploys which are direct counters to like bonus doubler and all that So it's nice to see them, you know pump out more skills that directly counter things The only problem is is that this is still stopped of course by Freyr So Freyr if he's there on the team like an aether raids he can just cleanse uh, the schism effect But when he's not there this effect it can be really good because triangle attack dual strike Pathfinder effects well, especially the first two are very common right now. So yeah speed defense ruse 4 I like that there is a counter to it it's just unfortunately uh you know on heather who's on a seasonal and i guess you know the beast skill is competitive but if you're going to make a supportive unit you know speed defense ruse is going to be really cool because you also give guard discord along with the schism effect so yeah 
So that is Speed Defense Ruse 4 and the new Schism effect. And then her weapon, Spy Shuriken, gives her minus one cooldown. If unit initiates combat, attacks twice, of course, to start a combat. If she's alive, grants plus five to all her stats. And if a rally assist skill is used by unit or targets, unit grants no follow-up. So that's cool. So it synergizes well with her Ruse skill. And also to the target or targeting allies. And inflicts exposure on foes in cardinal directions. So yeah, that is really good. You get extra damage and no follow-up support. So she can give no follow-up to other units. So that's another way to distribute uh, no follow-up. Because of rally attack speed, remote sparrow. And I think that's her entire kit. I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Yeah, that's it. So that that is Ninja Heather. Again, definitely didn't expect her. But welcome addition. And then now we have Reyna, another character. Well, I guess I more expected reyna to be on a ninja banner sanguine shinobi uh here she is reyna was one of the most requested fates characters along with scarlet scarlet could have been on here as well but here's reyna as a green bow flyer and uh here she is and she is the uh four star special uh seasonal demon as you can see kumo yumi is her weapon effective against flying foes unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces so basically an oath built in which is amazing and then if you need issues combat, you attack twice and then also get plus four to all stats during combat. So this is a really good bow. I kind of want to pull this for uh, for Winter Marth, for like Marth and Clears. This would be kind of a cool option or other bow units, definitely. Because a lot of bow units can use this. I mean, I wouldn't say it's better than like RK Dark Bow or like Nastron, depending on what unit you're using. But this is definitely a cool option because it gives you teleportation and brave effect. Uh, but it's only in the player phase. Then she comes with Glimmer, Attack Speed, Catch 3, and Speed Defense. Ryan, definitely cool skills you would like to get if you're you know, inheriting attack speed catch four or even speed defense, uh, rain snap. So there's Reyna, definitely a cool demo you can invest into. And then, uh, the star of the banner, the duo Dawn Sworn, Ninja, Sanaki, and Micaiah. I'm really, I love Micaiah's outfit. I've, I've mentioned it in videos before, but I really have a soft spot for Micaiah. I mean, Sanaki's obviously the lead here, but Micaiah looks amazing. Her outfits got me weak and her hairstyle. I love the ponytail. Like, I love it when they change hairstyles for seasonal alts and just alts in general because they don't do that much for a lot of fake characters or final characters. Um, last time they did it was, what, Ninja Camilla last year, and then uh, obviously Brave Erica got a ponytail. So that's really cute. I love how Micaiah changed her hair. And then there's Sanaki as well. So, yeah, really cute alts. Um, it's characters that have already been in duos before, but, hey, Sanaki and Micaiah is very wholesome. Radiant, Squall Radiant <laughs> Scrolls, English. Um, yeah, this gives her the ability to have Canto remaining, minus one cooldown, unit attacks twice, of course. So dual phase brave, which we pretty much always get some kind of dual phase weapon or dual phase uh, mage on these ninja banners. You attack twice if unit initiates combat is within two spaces of an ally and inflicts attack resistance minus six on foe, and you deal damage equal to Y during combat. Uh, and Y, let me see this, excluding AOEs, it reduces the percent. It reduces the effects of foes non-special, reduces damage by X. Okay, so, wow. you So you reduced, um, like, Spurn and whatnot equal to Y times 4. Y equals the t highest total penalties among target and foes within two spaces of targets. So, example, if Y, uh, X4 equals 64 foes with reduces damage by 45 would be reduced by 17. So, yeah, this is better than the halving because it's more potent than the damage reduction halving that, like, Kade and Lind has. And... Um, you know, physical and magical no follow-up have because it can be stronger and just instead of just doing it by half, you can get it down to like 17% or less. So yeah, very potent and it works well with her sabotage skill because you can get more penalties on the foes. So yeah, very strong and potent weapon for sure. Comes with Iceberg Flared Mirror, which is going to work really well and provide uh, the Divine Vein Flame. And then Sabotage Attack Resistance, like I said, and then Defense Res Ploy for even more um, penalties on the foe because you can stop ploy exposure or sorry you can stop uh, bonus doubler uh, treachery uh, grand strategy so yeah um, this Sanaki obviously is going to be just like with every Sanaki and every Micaiah you know not that fast with high resistance and high attack so it's not that creative I guess but um, I don't think we see your stats but that's probably gonna be your stat spread because they gave her that damage reduction piercing against like a lot of the fast units so that's gonna help for sure so yeah Sanaki is definitely a threat and it's kind of the red version of ninja corn in a way and of course their duo skill like every other ninja duo gives you another action so this is going to be great just clearing uh chain challenges and content in the game so yeah that is duo sanaki and micaiah i'm glad sanaki is the lead because micaiah has plenty a lot more alts than her um, but yeah micaiah looks amazing i'm definitely i love the ponytail for sure so yeah that is pretty much everybody on the ninja banner the uh, Tempest Trial unit is Saizo. He's the only actual ninja here, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So he's going to be the free unit. 
And, uh, you know, I'm glad that Saizo got something. I hope Kaze gets something because I like Kaze more, you know, his brother. So hopefully Kaze gets something maybe next year. But there he is, Saizo. I think his full art is already out. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that is the Ninja Banner. It is Tellius plus Fates. I like the character choices and the alt choices overall. It's just I wish it wasn't Tellius and Fates again because we always, like pretty much every year that the ninjas have existed, we always get Tellius or Fates of some kind. You know, and this year they went really hard on it because we got full Tellius and Fates. And I love Tellius and I like some Fates characters, but let's mix it up here. Give them, I don't know, make, let's make more Arcanean ninjas, maybe some Alib ninjas. I mean, last year we got like Ninja Cherche, maybe get some more Awakening ninjas. Like, I don't know, it just for some reason Tellius and Fates always get ninjas because we had Ninja Zahark, Ninja Hana, Ninja Camilla, Ninja, both Korins, uh, well, it's Ninja Shinon. So like so many Tellius and Fates characters get ninja alts. So I would have liked to see them mix it up, but I'm glad that I like the character choice overall. It's just I wish it was from a different game. But yeah, I'm not really complaining because I, I can skip this banner. So I can finally save my orbs because I haven't been able to save in a long time, it feels like, or not, you know, very consecutively, like consecutive months. So I'm hoping I can start doing that again, at least until Christmas or New Year's. But yeah, that is the Ninja banner. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed and good luck on your summons if you are summoning. So yeah, please stay safe out there. Peace out.